Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today let's see some of the terms used to describe the bony features. First terms used to describe bony features. Today let's see the depressions and the openings. Depression and opening. The first one is foramen. The first one is foramen. Foramen is hole. Foramen a hole. Foramen a hole which provides passage to blood vessels and nerves. Foramen a hole which provides For example, foramen foramina. For example, foramina transverse process of the vertebra. First one foramen hole which provides passage to the blood vessels and nerves. Example foramina transverse process of the vertebra. Next one is second one. Fossa. Second one is fossa. A hollow depression. Fossa a hollow depression. For example, glenoid fossa of scapula. Glenoid fossa of the scapula. The next third one is groove. Groove. A ditch like. A ditch like groove containing a tendon or blood vessels. Groove, a ditch like groove containing a tendon or blood vessels. For example, bicipital groove of humerus. Bicipital groove of humerus. Groove, a ditch like groove. Containing a dendon or blood vessels. Example, bicipital groove of humerus. Next, the fourth one is meters. A canal. Meters is nothing but a canal. For example, external auditory meters. For example, external External auditory meters. The next one, fifth one is sinus. Sinus is an air filled cavity within a bone. Example, paranasal sinuses. Paranasal air sinuses. Then the sixth one is. Is it a smooth flat or shallow area? For example, articular facets of the rib. Articular face it is smooth or flat or shallow area. Yes, smooth, flat or shallow area. Example, articular facets of the rib. These are the depressions and opening. Then 
next about the projections projection of projection of processes the first one is the first one is condyle rounded knuckle like projection rounded knuckle like projection example condyles of femur condyles of femur condyle rounded knuckle like projection for example condyles of femur the next one is eminence that is projecting part of the bone example intercondylar eminence of tibia eminence that is projecting projecting part of the bone for example intercondylar eminence of tibia the next third one is head head is round articular projection for example head of femur head round articular projection example head of femur then next one is crest sharp ridge or you can say it is border crest sharp ridge or border next one fifth one is epicondyle epicondyle is nothing but condyle for example median and lateral condyle of humerus median and lateral condyle of humerus epicondyle that is prominence above or an condyle example medial and lateral condyle of humerus the next next one is sixth one is line that is less prominent ridge less prominent ridge for example linea asperia of femur linea aspera of femur line that is less prominent ridge linea aspera of femur next seventh one is spine long thin projection long thin projection for example spines of vertebra spines of vertebra spine long thin projection example spines of vertebra the next one is trochanter the next one is trochanter very large prominence of muscle attachment example trochanter of femur the like greater trochanter lesser trochanter trochanter of trochanter of femur trochanter 
that is very large prominence for muscle attachment example prochandra femur the next one the ninth one is tubercle small round blood projection Small rounded projection. For example, greater and lesser tubercles of humerus. Greater and lesser tubercle of humerus. The next one, ten donors. tuberosity tuberosity is large rounded projection tuberosity is large rounded projection for example ischial tuberosity here tubercle that is small rounded projection tuberosity that is large rounded projection and for example ischial tuberosity these are the terms used to describe the bony feature the first part is depressions and openings and the second part is projections or processes thanks for watching my video thank you